put the YSL in the front. Got it, got it stuck real quick. Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about beauty, nursing, and lifestyle weekly. As you can see in today's title, we're going to hit right into the beauty tier talking about fragrances. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I love me some perfume, I love fragrances, and I'm pairing up again with Dossier today to talk to you guys about layering. Layering is something I mentioned in my last few fragrance videos and you guys wanted to hear more about. So let me go ahead and put y'all on. Make sure you stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so as we begin the video, of course you know we are partnered with dossier who is going to help me talk about layering with you guys today if you haven't heard about dossier before sis what you doing it's lux inspired without the lux money y'all i tell you this all the time bougie on a budget price for a fraction of the price so basically what you're doing is you're looking at dossier you're going on their website you're seeing what notes you like you're seeing what's your favorite you're picking out a fragrance and you're receiving it for a fraction of a price Instead of spending, you know, $200, $300, $500 on Baccarat Rouge, Tom Ford, Carolyn Guerrera, you're spending $29, $39, $49 for these fragrances that smell the same, if not better, y'all. I'm telling you. These fragrances have been head turners for me. I wear this stuff, and people know what I got on, but they don't know what I got on. They don't know it's Dossier. They think it's the real thing. So these are really... Like, I would not put y'all on anything that's cheap, and I would not put y'all on anything that's flaky. These are really good fragrances, and they do last for a while. Now, say you get a fragrance from Dossier, for whatever reason, you don't like it. We all don't like the same scents, y'all. It's okay. It's not Dossier. It's just the way our body chemistry and our notes are. You can easily return these perfumes back to them. They come in the full bottle, so when you return them, they're able to donate them, which is for a good cause. And... If you decide, hey, I don't feel like going through the hassle of mailing it back and etc., give it to a friend, give it to a sister, give it to a cousin. Nine times out of ten, guys, us as women, we don't all like the same fragrance categories. I'm a fruity floral girl. Everybody does not like fruity. Everybody does not like floral. More people like musk and like those sultry and those strong scents. My body chemistry does not go with those. Do they smell good on other people? Yes, but I'm not one to pertain to that. So if I get a scent like that, or if I've received a scent like that, whether it's Dossier or a regular perfume, 9 times out of 10, if I don't feel like going through the return hassle, which is, like I said, easier with Dossier compared to other perfumes, if I don't feel like just going through that, I'll simply just give it to someone. Now, y'all got to think about it. It's easier to give somebody something you paid $20, $30, $40 for versus something that you paid $200, $300 for. Like, the giving, I'm a very giving person, but I know when it comes to what you pay for something, you want to make sure you're kind of being conscious. So, that's why I rock with Dossier, and that's why you guys see me talk about it on my channel. Wouldn't talk about it if I didn't like it. Wouldn't talk about it if I didn't support it, but that's what it is and that's why we're going to be talking about layering with them today okay guys so now we're going to get right into layering what is layering that's what a lot of people like to ask me so layering is basically guys mixing two of your perfumes it's not mixing it in the same bottle but it's basically mixing two perfumes with your body chemistry um the best way i can explain it when i layer is i like to spray both scents on um, one over top of the other and I don't I do it at the same time some people like to let one dry down and then spray the other you guys always know the dry down effect of a perfume is different than the actual application so I like to spray them together to give them time to dry down together so that combo that they dry down is efficient for me now you don't have to be all gung-ho when it comes to layering with the top notes the base notes and all this other stuff but I am going to give you guys basics just from my collection on what I think is best so usually I like to pair something with a strong base note with something with a strong top note strong base notes for me are vanilla sandalwood tonka bean cocoa almond those like universal scents are usually what I look for when it gets to something that has a strong base Things that have a strong top are usually those florals, those fruities, those citrus, those mandarins. Those are things that I look for when that have top notes. So I think the way that I got my fragrances from Dossi Air that I'm going to show you guys today are perfect. I'm also going to mention a few others at the end. But you don't want two strong hitters 
and you don't want two low hitters. You want something that has the perfect combo. Again, that also comes with concentration. You want something a little bit stronger and something a little bit lighter so when they combine, it's not a big combustion. You don't want two big players running and you don't want two small players to the point where you're not getting anything. So those are like my little tips when it comes to layering. But honestly guys, layering is very trial and error. You can do layering with two perfumes. You can do layering with a regular perfume in a body spray. I know a lot of y'all don't like Bath and Body Works. Y'all don't think it's luxe. It's luxe to me because I love it. And that is one of my biggest secrets to layering. People wonder how I make my fragrance last so long and how I smell good. I throw those good old Bath and Body Works sprays right under some of my luxe smelling perfumes. And guys, it's, it's beautiful. And we're going to talk about some of it today. So let's go ahead and get into this layering. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to layer with you guys right here on camera today is Two Cents from Dossier. I have Floriental Vanilla, which is inspired by YSL Black Opium, and I do own that. So I actually spray that one on my other arm so I can tell you guys how similar it smells. The second one I have is the Gourmet White Flower, which is inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, which I have not tried Flower Bomb yet, but I, you guys know, I'm floral and I'm fruity, so I was definitely down for this pair. As I told you guys before when I was talking about layering, you look for something that has strong base notes and you also look for something that has strong top notes. So let's talk about these two. Floriental Vanilla has the strong base notes I'm looking for. Um, they always give you a card that talks about top bottom notes and all that fun stuff. I'll put it up here so you guys can read it, but I'm going to talk about it real quick. So this one has base notes of cedar wood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. So you guys remember me mentioning earlier those vanillas, those tonka beans, all those are real good base notes. They're strong and they're able to bring out the top notes that are in them. When it comes to the gourmet white flowers, we'll look at the base notes, but I'm really focused on the top notes of this perfume. Its top notes are bergamot, green tea, fresa, and berries. It does have good base notes. We got some musk, some patchouli, some caramel, some vanilla, but we're really going to get those stronger base notes from that floriental vanilla, what I mentioned before with like the cocoa and things like that. All right, y'all. So I already kind of know what YSL um, black opium smells like, so I'm pretty sure I already know what the fl floriental vanilla is going to smell like. Um, trying your fragrances, never sniff directly from the tab, either spray in your cap or just spray it directly on because that's when you're going to get the most natural scent from your spray. This smells so good. I have to sneeze though. And I will tell y'all straight up, I know why I sell black opium because I wear it a lot in the fall and winter. This is good. This smells very similar. Now, as I told y'all before, you don't want to let it dry down completely. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this Gourmet White Flowers and let them dry down together. Okay guys, so I wanted to give it kind of like a little bit of time to get the aroma moving, to get it smelling, you know, how it would on my skin. And this smells really good, this combo. Um, Dossier kind of explained it that it has like base notes of kind of like, I think they said liquor and caramel and coffee, which you get like that coffee base note from the Floriental Vanilla. And then you get that white flowers and oriental scent, which is the top notes of the Gourmand white flower. This reminds me of smooth sultry sexy feminine like it's perfect for fall but it's also enough for me who is a floral girl because you guys know I talked to you guys when I talked about the you know fragrances some people like some people don't like I really am not into strong not necessarily masculine scents but there's some female scents that are very sultry to the point where it's too much for me and it doesn't match with my body's chemistry for some reason but this this is different. Okay, I so just for your enjoyment, I do have the YSL Black Opium here today with me. This is my original bottle. Um, I am going to spray that on and then I'm going to put the Gourmet White Flower over top of this one to see if it smells similar. Just so you guys kind of have a comparison to Dossier and The Real. You guys know I'm not going to lie to y'all. Now let me spray the White Flower over top of this one. See if it makes a big difference. Ooh, that will smell the same. Let me give it dry down time before I start getting hype. Let me give it dry down time. Give me a second, y'all. Dry down time means let me comb this wig. Because she's 
she's giving today. She's giving what she's supposed to give. Come through blonde. <laughs> okay, y'all, so dry down time. There is a slight, maybe a tinge of a difference. And it's weird to me because the difference I smell is more in the top note than the bottom note, even though I used different base note kind of features so like I use the Floriental Vanilla with the Gourmand White Flower on here I use the Real YSL Black Opium here with the White Gourmand Flower there's like an extra scent over here that is very it's very very attractive but this one also smells good so I don't see I might pick up on that extra scent just because of the type of person I am when it comes to smells. But they both smell like, they smell like money y'all. They smell really good. Okay guys, I shared a little bit with you about Dossier. So let me just go through a few of my other favorite pairings that are right here in my collection at home. So you guys can understand how you can kind of mix, match, and pair. Honestly, layering fragrances is more of a try and error. So if you have fragrances at home, don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff just to layer it. See what you like at home first. See what those base notes are. Look it up. If you like a combo, I encourage you to look up the notes because it will really help you kind of figure out what you need to combine together to get what you like. First thing I will talk about, and I didn't even realize this matched my shirt today. Like, is this too cute or whatever? This is too cute. So I have Bath and Body Works Fairy Tale, and I also have YSL Libre. But YSL Libre and Fairy Tale, guys, this is a great combo. If you're looking at getting the YSL Intense, I encourage you to try this together first because this really brings out the good notes in YSL Libre. It is, I've gotten so many compliments on wearing this. As y'all can see behind me, I have the lotion, I have the spray, I have the body butter. This combo is untouched, I'm telling y'all. Next pair I'm going to put you guys on to is the Carolyn Guerrera Good Girl and the Soleil Notes Tonka Bean. I will show you guys the Soli Notes bottle. You can get these out of Target. They're only about 20 bucks, and they come in handy when it comes to combining. They really have good base note fragrances. Vanilla, this is Tonka Bean. They have Jasmine. I think they have Rose. And they're really good to pair with really good smelling perfumes to really bring out that perfume. So this is something I also enjoy to wear. And I, I complimentary me trying to talk fancy I usually do this on date night so this is a good combo as well as I'm sitting here talking to you guys about fragrances I just realized that one of these might pair very well with YSL black opium and that's the Prada I think this is the Prada candy I hope I have it right if not I'll put the exact name here but I have that and I also have vanilla which really goes good together but I think this will go really well with the YSL um, Black Opium. I think they have very similar notes. And why I have the Vanilla by Soleil Notes, again, from Target in my hand, I'm going to tell you guys about another favorite pairing with this, which is the Ariana Grande Airy. This, guys, is my La Favorita, okay? Okay, this is my favorite. Um, I wear her out to the grocery store. I wear her out on a usual day. I wear her running errands. I wear her going to work. Shh, don't tell nobody. But she's very light, but she's very sweet. I don't want to say sweet because y'all going to get those like juvenile vibes. She's very light, but she's very, she's very me. I'm just going to say that. You have to try it yourself. She gives good vibes. And paired with vanilla gives me the little umph I need if I'm going out like with the girls or if I'm going out for like a daytime type of thing. It gives me some umph. On her own, she's beautiful. Trust me. But the vanilla just gives me a little bit more base that I need. So this is a good combo also. Alright guys, thanks so much for spending some time with me today talking about layering fragrances. I know a lot of you wanted to hear me talk about this because this is literally something guys I preach not only just on camera, but out with my friends and my family. I tell them, layer what you, look in your collection, look what you got. You will find these good combos. Dossier provided two great ones. Again, the Foriental Vanilla and the Gourmet White Flower Bomb. They also have tons of other layering combos that they suggest. Like I told you guys, look at those top notes and look at those base notes. See what will balance each other and it's perfect to combine. And honestly, it's trial and error. If you got perfumes in your collection, you can whip up something right there and create something amazing that is your signature fragrance. And I believe in, as a woman, and embracing femininity, 
every woman should have her own signature scent. While we all can smell like all different scents, having your own signature scent is just screaming like I'm that girl. So I enjoy doing it. I enjoy layering and I enjoy finding, you know, combos that work for us. Again, I also have fragrances in here that are you know, Bath & Body Works mix, mixed with Lux fragrances. So if you guys want more videos on that, I have way more combos, trust me. I can definitely provide that for you if you guys want to see it. But we're going to go ahead and close here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you're back for another video, make sure you let me know if you like this and what video suggestions you have for the future. I will see you guys in the next upload. Thanks so much for tuning in.